Good morning, everyone. Uh, this is uh, Mohammad Shabib, your executive director. Welcome to another session of Coffee with the ED on 29th of May, 2020. So today we have six questions that were submitted earlier on. And uh, I'm, and I'm gonna take uh, your question first. Now how to increase my ref received referrals, right? So do you want to elaborate more on the question? So what exactly is the situation? So you're receiving referrals and what about the referrals do you want to increase? Do you want to increase the number of referrals or do you want to increase the quality of referrals or do you want to increase the, what do you call the ticket size of the referrals? What is it that you want to change about the referrals? Uh, first of all, uh, thank you very much uh, for this opportunity, Mr. Shabib. Uh, sure. Really, uh, that indicate uh, how much always I'm telling everybody that Mr. Shabib is taking care by investing in us because if we are growing in business, BNI is a successful platform in Qatar. Back to your question, Mr. Shabib. Uh, uh, I did my, my third feature presentation last week. Okay. And uh, uh, that time, this time, I did my best, okay, to understand all your guidance about the feature presentation. Okay. Uh, my question, which I have sent it to you, it was before the feature presentation. Okay. And this time I was up to the point. Mm. And uh, I focus in my ask and the dream customers. You remember the one-to-one -one we have and that format of uh, being I one-to-one, -one, bread and butter, favorite and dream customers. Yeah. So this time... Uh, it was about the dream customer, and I was straightforward. I uh, choose only uh, four dream customers, and the results was amazing. Okay. Okay. I get for these four uh, dream customers, six members step uh, up to help me. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. But which is uh, in, 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 in one feature presentation, I get six referrals. Yes. Okay, and uh, this is uh, very good, but uh, I want to share with you something, Mr. Shabib, okay? Yeah. Uh, this is my observation, and you correct me if I'm wrong or no. Okay. Uh, my observation, I believe, uh, you remember one webinar about interesting and interested. Yes. To be interested, not interesting. So yes. is this, my question now, is this applied? in the who is giving referral and who is receiving referral is it they are right. interesting in in giving in, in in the referral part or uh, they are interested because i realized something okay from that feature presentation mm -hmm. that it is about okay some of the members are interesting but not interested mm. back to you mr shabib all right so there's a lot of aspects that you have uh, asked for uh, in this uh, in this thing, and some are interesting. Okay, <laughs> all right. <coughs> Trying to be interesting. Okay, all right. So. Uh, <clears throat> one of the things, main things that we really have to understand is um, referrals will only come to you if, if you know what is it that you want to grow into. So a lot of people, what, what the challenge that usually comes is they, they want referrals, okay, but they don't know what referrals they want, okay. So if you go to many people, you ask them uh, what are the kind of referrals they want. They'll say, you know, I want uh, I want people who want uh, electrical stuff. I want people who want um, you know, tickets. I want people who want uh, steel, like Shakif is in the steel category. So what happens is most people they want referrals, uh, but they are, they don't know what referrals they want. Okay. So what? How can you change this? So when I tell you. Uh, you know, I want somebody who is uh, who is interested in traveling to uh, taking their family for a vacation to the Maldives. Uh, is this a answer for the question? Wh what referrals do you want? What do you think? 
No, it is not right. What what did I what did it mean when I said I'm looking for somebody who wants to travel to Maldives? What does it mean? I'm trying to uh, sell something. Okay, but I'm not yet sure. I haven't told you yet. I told you what I'm ready to sell, but I haven't told you who wants it yet. Okay, I did say I'm looking for people who want to travel to Maldives. When I said this, I'm looking for people, keeping that aside, who wants to travel to Maldives. So travel to Maldives is my product. And most people think that this is enough to generate referrals. It does not. Okay. This will still not get you referrals. This is, this is only informing people that you are ready to sell tickets to Maldives. So what can change over here? So let's, let's understand this sentence. I am looking for people who wants to travel to Maldives. Okay. So I, I, I have mentioned this as my uh, referral request. Okay. Now, <clears throat> what is clear here? Do you want it? Yes you want a referral okay all right you want a referral now what is a referral what exactly is a referral you want a referral now what is exactly a referral you are asking me mr shabib anybody uh, for me a referral is uh, uh, two people a and b they sit together and a ask b to connect it with C. Right. I understand that. My question is, why does it become a referral when you're connected to C? Because <coughs> it's through uh, my fellow members. C connects to C. Okay. So this is a referral, right? A and B connects to C. Okay. Yeah. Now, what should C have for this to become a successful referral? Because we are not just looking for referrals as just contacts. We are looking for what? What are we looking for? We are looking for thank you for, for close, close business. business. So what for should C be? Yeah. Be, or what should what should what are the qualities that she she should be having for it to become a successful thank you for close business? Needs. Exactly. The the C should have a need for what you are providing, right? Need for yes, what you provide. All right. So it could be a solution or it could be a product. It could be any one of this. Okay. It could be a solution, a service, or a product. Right. So uh, the C should have a need. Now what is happening is I'm looking for people who wants to travel to Maldives. So what is the need you're creating over here? What should, what should the people have? They should have the desire to travel to Maldives. Yeah, so they should have a need. So the need is also created. Your want and the need of the client is also clarified over here. But now the question is, without asking people, so I'll have to keep on asking people, um, okay, are you looking to travel to Maldives today? Are you looking to travel to Maldives in a few days or something like that, right? Now, my question is, Ayman, in this season of this coming up season of uh, holidays, what kind of people will travel to Maldives? Who are the sea? Yes, who are the sea? Yes, honeymooners. Okay, good. So, who the first point is honeymooners? Yes, okay. Uh, family what? for family for leisure, families for leisure, okay, and uh, travel adventure for water sport, water sport enthusiasts. Very good, yes. Right. So right. these are the three pe kind of people that you're looking for. 
And now you could also focus on people who are looking for uh, no quarantine requirements while uh, while holiday, right? I yes. understand Maldives has a bubble agreement with Qatar, right? Yeah, uh, Maldives, uh, Georgia, Turkey. Exactly. So now what happens is now what happens is before we did not define who. So now I'm gonna re say I'm gonna tell this sentence in a different way. Okay, the referrals I'm looking for are people who just got married and want to do have a safe honeymoon, families that are looking for a leisure travel to somewhere close, people who love diving and water sports, and people who also want to have a holiday without any quarantine requirements while traveling from Qatar. I can offer them great packages to Maldives. Okay. Let me ask over here, okay, Shakif and Uma. How many people do you know fits this description? Recently married people, do you know uh, how, how many people? people? Yes, I know. Some you do know, friends, right? Yeah. Do you know anybody, yeah. uh, any families, like uh, they want to go for a holiday during this vacation? They have not had a holiday and they want to go for a holiday somewhere where it is safe. Actually, uh, yes. Uh, actually, you know, if you ask uh, who wants to go for holiday, there are a lot of people. Okay, although they are got married long back, but since they didn't go for holiday last one and a half year, exactly. they want to travel this July. Okay. Yeah, and you know that right? there are people who love going in your network. There are a lot of people who love going for those leisure holidays. Yeah, right? yes, but not Maldives. They want to go to their home country because they didn't go there last one. Not yeah, but home country might be home country. home country is not a holiday. It's visiting their home country. Yes, spending their holidays there, but this is a holiday yeah. trip. Okay, the other one also qualifies yeah. because the, the moment he said families for holiday, you immediately said, okay, should yeah. I have families who want to go for a holiday but not to Maldives, but they want to go back to their home country. No, yeah. So this is again a way home of country, actually yeah. getting customers because you're qualifying the customer over here. Got it. You're helping yeah, yeah. Okay. your fellow members to qualify the customer. Now, water sports enthusiasts, do you know any friends who love diving, you know, who love uh, going on? Uh, uh, yes. If uh, if you talk about adventurers, yes. Um, in my friend circle, I don't know anyone who likes mm -hmm. this much adventurous, like surfing, speedboat, you know. But they right. want to go to holiday. Even exactly. Maldives and other countries. Very good, very good. What about you, Omar? Do you know somebody of that sort in your network? You're muted. Uh, we, I mean, your mic is not working. I'm sorry. Are you hearing me? Yeah, we can hear you now. Yeah. Uh, I know some of the Qataris who is interested in the water sports. Like uh, they used to travel uh, every time for uh, some other country. I don't know which countries they used to travel, but I can speak with them whether they are interested with the Maldives. So very good, excellent. And then I'm sure all of us know people who doesn't want quarantine while holidaying, right? Okay, so um, uh, Ayman, within this five minutes of me describing this, uh, you're becoming very happy because I think there's a, at a lot of levels you started getting reference, right? Yes, sir, I'm more than happy. And yeah. this is so, the way to make it from interesting to interested. Exactly, Thank so you the very thing much. here is, this is what you have to change. So you should, uh, the thing that we always tell you in the member success program and the other training is avoid generalizing. If you generalize, generalizing, okay, I need to change the spelling, sorry. So if you generalize, what happens is you will get less reference. Okay, the if most you, specific you are, you, if you... Uh, Generalize. Generalize means I'm looking for people. Okay. You know, you're just putting generally, I'm looking for people. Okay. Who wants to travel to Maldives? So the moment you generalize, what happens is the number of referrals you're going to get is going to low, get low. Now, the thing is, is it, is, are these the only people who might be traveling to Maldives? No, there could be other people who's traveling to Maldives. But what happens is right now, the moment you specify, okay, the moment you become specific, what happens is it's like uh, it's like uh, what do you call it? it's like it puts people into action to generate referrals 
Okay. So, you know, I know that BNI is about farming and not hunting, but I just want to bring you back. You know, generating referrals for your fellow members is like hunting. Okay. That is something that people don't understand. Why do I say this? Uh, I know I might be kicking up a controversy by saying this, but I'm still going to be very clear about what I say. Okay. So I want you to pictureize. Uh, have you seen these documentaries of... Uh, uh, of um, how lions catch uh, you know, uh, buffaloes in the African, you know, for, uh, jungles. So if you really look at it, what you are trying to do is you're trying to train your fellow members to become lions. Okay. In what way? So you know what lions do when they are, when they are trying to pick the right uh, prey, the right buffalo, what they do is they, they wait. Okay. There will be thousands of prey. There will be thousands of preys, but there is one specific, uh, you know, kind of um, kind of description of prey which they are looking for. Even in the thousands, they'll pick the one that is the slowest, or that has some uh, some challenge in catching up with the rest of the herd, and then they target that one and they run and catch that one. Now your job, you know, I'm I'm just gen I'm just trying to help you visualize. Your job is something similar to that. What you're training your fellow members to do is pick up that person who can become your customer and then bring it to you for you to work with. Okay, so uh, I know it might be not in alignment with what we believe, but I, I'm completely in alignment. I'm just trying to help you understand the metaphor. Okay, so B BNI is about farming, no doubt about it. The only thing I'm talking, trying to tell you is you need to train your members to understand the specific customers that you're looking for so that they can zoom in pick that customer and bring him to you as a referral so when you become more specific and you start talking well and you practice this then what happens is you start becoming better so now let's say that Ayman is uh, now uh, going to be doing a weekly presentation okay so what happens over here is many people have this challenge also of uh, not understanding the fact that you have 52 weeks in a month, I mean, in a year, sorry, in a year, and you have four weeks in a month, right? Now, during the travel season, so now I'm, I'm sure for the next three months, your business is going to be very seasonal, where there's going to be a lot of travel coming in. So this is also another factor about raising your number of referrals, raising your, so understand what season you are, and if your business has a seasonal uptrend, focusing on a certain uh, service being provided during that season, you have to really focus on doing that. So uh, what I can also do is uh, now uh, you can't talk about all these things. Maybe yes, in one sentence, you can just say, you know, this week uh, I am uh, my my focus is on honeymooners, families for uh, water sports enthusiasts and people who don't require quarantine when traveling on their holidays and the best destination I can offer which meets all this areas is Maldives. With Maldives, we have a bubble agreement for the Katri government where people who are traveling there does not require quarantine and neither when they're coming back will they require quarantine, saving a huge cost on their holiday budget in this time of the pandemic. Uh, my special focus is on honeymooners for whom we can give a special discounted package for Maldives by tying up with so-and-so hotel where they can, uh, which has a special offer for honeymooners. So you can use this to, yes, talk about your, uh, your bigger target, but then pulling it down also to specific targets where you offer some value for money additions for that specific target, just like how I said about honeymooners. Now you could change this the next week. You can change this to water sports enthusiasts by saying that we have great packages for water sports enthusiasts with this uh, resort, which has got all kinds of equipments uh, like banana boats, uh, water scooters, and all those things. So the more specific you are, and then you use the weekly presentation in the right way, and even open networking, you know, uh, just imagine now suddenly you say this weekly presentation and during open networking, there is more time for you to actually share. And I'm sure you can also tell that I will, for those who are interested, please stay back during open networking and I can give you more information about the ticket rates or about the packages. 
use the you know with the online uh, world the best thing is that uh, those who are interested in your products immediately to know about it you can actually request the leadership team to give you a breakout room where you can take all these members and you know they can sit there and they can actually start giving you more referrals so i may not have answered everything but i believe uh, i give you some directions on how to increase your referrals mr ayman uh it's more than i expected mr shabib thank you very oh, much you're welcome is you there anything else that uh, uh, the other two participants would like to ask about the specific area I, before we proceed I to your question i'm just now to travel to maldives <laughs> you feel like traveling to maldives right now okay so i mean uh, you know who to treat when you get that <laughs> yeah miss uma we will follow up with her yes okay so thank you now, thank you this is how uh, we are uh, doing this kind of uh, generating more reference okay so now what i'm going to come to is uh, mr shakif's question so mr shakif has sent a very very elaborate question and i believe uh, you know again what i'm going to share with any industry is applicable in many ways for all the industries that we are belonging to so don't think that this is a highly technical question but i'm just going to read out this question and i'm going to give shakif a chance to actually elaborate on it i am focusing to make the client circle of a flagship product so he has a flagship product okay one second so he has a flagship product uh, and the flagship product is steel storage tanks okay steel storage tanks okay steel storage tank yeah. for fuel water yeah. chemical lubricant right and uh, but you are not get yeah. proper inquiries okay i feel yeah. this product is not common in bni okay you will be surprised it is pretty common in bni actually because in all the chapters we have uh, steel fabricators except for maybe royals Uh, again uh, let's look at this is this the reason i'm not getting the proper response so that is not the reason why you're not getting a proper response and i'm going to tell you why you're not getting a proper response my client could be okay. oil and gas industries chemical industries uh, petrol stations uh, fire fighting companies so now what what has happened is uh, shakif uh, do you want to add on to this question yes. anything that you want to ask before i go into the answer yeah go ahead go ahead Sure. Right. so i think uh, you'll understand this so, so the first thing first and foremost is uh, you did a very good job of defining your product exactly the same thing that i told i am in earlier we are very good at defining our products we are very good yeah. at telling that i want to sell this products but then we are not good at telling who requires this products now in your question the last part of your question was my client could be oil and gas industries your clients are oil and gas industries it's not could be it is okay so the one of the things that you really have to understand is so uh, where where your focus would be so this is what i'm going to ask the sentence where you are having that block in getting reference okay. is this sentence okay um i feel this product i feel this product is not common in bni now what i'm assuming and correct me if i'm wrong what i'm assuming is when you're saying this sentence what you're saying is that product is not required by bni members am i right in saying that that's what you assume uh, like you don't have customer yeah, bni yeah yeah for this product yeah that's what i thought so that is where you are exactly right and that is where you are also getting your actions wrong don't try to get customers in bni your bni members are your customers in certain situations only if they need what did we what did we recognize as a qualifier for you to get a referral a need should exist okay now tell me out of the 151 members that is there in bni in qatar or even in your chapter out of the 24 members that is there or 23 members that is there in your chapter how many of them need a steel tank other than um, other than uh, our uh, manzoor No, no, other no. than manzoor i don't think so anyone in exactly. my chapter exactly so the focus over here is <coughs> shakif 
Uh, you are a new yeah. member, so you, uh, I believe, you have only done the MSP and maybe attended one of the training. Okay, so one of the yeah. areas where we really have to understand how to get more reference for the products that we want is, you need to go back in history, and whose history? Yeah. Whose history should you go back to? Your own history. Oh, okay. Yeah. So think about this. Okay, when you sold tanks, you 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 have been selling tanks, right? By now, how many tanks have you sold? In BNI or outside of BNI? I'm not asking you about BNI. I'm asking you a company. Uh, how many tanks have you sold? Ah, this, no, last last two months, sir, we, we, not, we manufacture. We are the manufacturer, actually, not yeah. uh, We have supplied more than, I can tell, more than 40 tanks. Last two months. You know? Two months alone. Now, in your company's yeah. existence, when, is it, when did your company start? In 1996. 1996. So, mashallah. I, think, I believe your father started this or somebody else? Yeah, 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 my father started. Very good, excellent. And from 1996 onwards, can you just even keep a count of how many tanks you have sold? No. You can't, right? Because there's so many tanks you have sold. But now you know that yeah. in the last two months, you have sold 40 tanks, right? Yeah. yeah. But I'm going to ask you something, okay? I'm going to ask you something. Uh, what was your biggest order yet? Like, in the history of your company from 96? Maybe your father yeah. will also tell you, Shakif, uh, I have sold this very big order uh, at this point of time, yeah. or you must have done something of the biggest order yeah. ever. What is the biggest order ever you have done? Uh, in terms of tanks, uh, the biggest order in last uh, five years, I can tell, we have uh, received from Wakud around six to five tanks in one purchase order. Wakud, six to five tanks, right? Sixty-five, and sixty-five, 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 sixty-five. Tanks. sixty-five. Okay, sixty-five. Yeah, in one order. Okay. Now, one of the things is you really have to. If you ask me if you can repeat the same thing in BNI with Wakud, I might say no. Okay, because yeah. the reason why yeah. you really have to understand Wakud is a government industry. Yeah. Okay, yeah. A government client. So yeah. what happens is in BNI, B2G doesn't really work. Okay. Okay. Doesn't really work. Why? Because they are usually tenders. There is a lot of pre-qualification process and all those things. There's a process yeah. and anybody who is capable of doing it can work to qualify for the process. And trying to get a referral yeah. in a tender process is actually illegal, right? So yeah. we, we do yeah. not encourage uh, getting a uh, like focusing on B two G when you are trying to get a referral. Okay. So now I'm going to shift my yeah. action. Okay. So keeping the focus yeah. on the biggest order, what's the biggest order you received from a private entity? Private entity, recently, we have received around the uh, order of uh, 40 tanks, okay? 40 small tanks, not as big as Wakud. Uh, Wakud tank was very big, 55,000 liters. But recently, we received the 48 tanks order in one particular order from one private entity. It is uh, 4,000 liters fuel tank for generator. For generator. Very good, very good. 4,000 uh, liter, uh, liter fuel tanks. For the one generator company. Generator company, that company, okay, who has given me this order. Yeah, you can tell the company's uh, name right now. I'm okay with you keeping the company's name okay. confidential. But it is, uh, okay. and you got 44 tanks, right? Yeah, 44 right? tanks. And what you mentioned is it's a generator manufacturing company. No, actually, gener- uh, what they manufacturing do. Manufacturing or company, rental? They do. Yeah, a rental. Yeah. Rental, right? Company. Yeah, because there is no generator manufacturer in Gulf. So exactly. So now my question is: Is this is your client the only company in Qatar that does this activity? No, no, no. Right? It's not. How no, many companies no. do you know is similar to your client? Yes, I know so many. You want me to name it or what? Yeah, you can name it. No problem. Go ahead. Maybe you will get a reference from Ayman and Uma, Uma maybe. So yeah, for example, stop. that uh, you know, like this company, I have another customer. Okay, who are already giving us orders. That is. Yeah, Qatar tell Titan me about the companies who's not giving you orders. You have not got orders from, but is similar to this client. Yeah, for example, Caterpillar. 
Caterpillar. Uh, yeah. Caterpillar, they didn't give us order yet, although we pursue them, but... Uh, That's okay. So what, we are looking for, what we are looking for is a solid referral. You might have gone to them before, okay, uh, yeah. but you not, would not, you might not have gone to them before. But you still have not got an order. So give us a list of five companies that is similar Caterpillar. to this client. Caterpillar. Yeah, Caterpillar is one of them. And there is one more company called Agrico. A double G R E K O. Agrico. Okay. And there's there's one more company called Jubilee Bros. G J U B A I L I. Jubilee Brothers. Okay, I know them. Yeah, Jubilee Bros. And there is one more company called Unigas. U N I G A Z. Unigas. U U N I N I G A Z Unigaz. Okay. And there is one more company called Alba Generator. A L B A Alba Generator. So I'm I'm kind of assuming, but I think from observing your meetings, your participation in the meetings, what I've actually realized is you have never asked for this in your chapters. Okay. Yeah, this company, I, I didn't ask. Yeah, so I one of the things you really have to understand is, one of the things you really have to understand is, you know, sales is not about doing something new every time. Sales is about taking where we succeeded and repeating it again and again. But that's what I'm telling you. So that's what I said. Let's go back in history and find out where, we, where you were successful and what our focus is to repeat that. Because there are similar clients like that okay. out there and you need to meet them and you need to generate sales from them. So this is where you really have to, you know, this is your weekly presentation now. What you say is this week, okay. I would like to focus on uh, fuel tanks. And uh, yeah. I would like to tell you about my biggest customer in the private sector, which is a generator rental company who took 44 tanks for diesel storage of 4,000 liters fuel tanks. We manufactured this within two months and delivered it to their sites. Yeah. And the client is very happy. Yeah. There are other companies similar to my client who requires this. And the asks that I have is Caterpillar, Agrico, Jubilee Brothers, Unigas, and Alba Generator, of which I would like to meet Caterpillar this week. Okay. All right. Now what happens is you start getting those referrals. Okay. Got it. All right. Now, uh, you know, maybe... In future, one of these companies might become a BNI member because they also need to develop their business. Got it. It's only if they become a BNI member that you have a customer from BNI. Otherwise, you know, your customers are not in BNI. So one of the things that we really need to understand is we need to stop selling to the room. Okay. Please understand this. When you, when you talk about your products, when yeah. you talk about the features of your products, you might get some referrals, but you will not get those really good referrals. The reason being that people in the room feel like they're being sold to. Okay. Got it. Because the people in the room are not your customers. Yeah. Uh, Shakif, have you ever had a phone call where somebody is trying to sell you something and you are interested to buy it because of a phone call or because somebody told you the first time? No, no, no. I get bothered, actually, honestly. Exactly. You get, get bothered. bothered. The same thing happens even in a BNI room when you try to tell about your products to your fellow members. Got it. Whereas, okay. if somebody called you and said, Shakif, I need your help in getting connected to somebody okay. because uh, they can become my customer and I have a good chance over there over a phone call, what happens to you? Okay. You're suddenly like, oh, don't worry. I, we have this, uh, you know, my, my friends are there. Let me see who I can call and find out this for you. Right. And then what this guy might be trying to sell is maybe a welding machine. Okay. And then you're like, you know what? I actually need welding machines. Why don't you come to my office also? And we'll also have a chat. So yeah. this is actually a, you know, if you really want to sell something to somebody, ask them for help to connect, get connected to somebody like them. And then what happens is they will say, Hey, you know what? Actually I'm, I'm somebody who really needs your product. Why don't you come to me also? Okay, so that's a secondary thing. Okay. It's, it's a sales technique which we teach people. Uh, I, I'm, I'm also a sales trainer, so I do that separately. So uh, one okay. of the things you really have to understand is this is the way you build it. So if you ask me, 
uh, so you might have heard Ayman talking about dream favorite and uh, bread and butter customer. Okay, so this is like yeah, a yeah. dream customer for you. Yeah, this is the very good dream customer. Very yeah. good. You know, Got all it. the actually uh, honestly speaking, Mr. Shabib. Yeah. All the oil and gas industries, okay, generator companies, they are actually dream customer for me. Because yeah, they're they're, paying, they're paying if you go to oil and gas, it's a separate kind of a company. It's not like a generator company. So you need to make the no, stories no, yeah. for the oil and gas separately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You need even to, generator companies are also. Yeah, you they need, are also to, make, very good you need to make a separate story for real estate company for whom you might have done some fire tank updates. Okay, all right. So every okay. week, <clears throat> focus on not the steel tanks, but who needs the steel tank for what? Okay, right. the focus is not about the steel tanks. Yes, the steel tanks is a product that you sell. Nobody can deny that. But you will only get customers if you tell people, okay, who needs the steel tank? Why? What do they need it for? And why you should be referred? So you give them okay. answer to these three questions. You start getting a lot of referrals. Okay. Okay. All right. So adding on to this now, just to just to create a closure on this question. Uh, if I asked you, what is a favorite client that you like doing with? So this is your dream. I know dream is always favorite. But then yeah. if you really look at favorite clients, they're not dream customers. They're not very small customers, but they're, they're, they're those customers that you like doing business with. Because they come in, they give an order, and uh, they keep on giving an order over a period of time. They may not take it in bulk like uh, a generator company immediately. But, you know, they frequently come to you. So what kind of a company comes frequently to you for uh, this thing? What's your favorite? Okay. So if I asked you a water supply company? Yeah, for example, the, if you talk about uh, Japanese, all of a sudden, if any good customer comes with me, who I want to do business with, this is, you can tell petrol station, you know, petrol they station. need underground petrol. Yeah, pe they need underground petrol station tank. Why I'm saying they are favorite customer, but they don't come like generator companies because once any petrol tank is installed, okay, this is guaranteed for 20 years, okay. Yeah. So... That's why they come once in a like, yeah once once but some, they're once, good well, yeah they are good customers now yeah once uh, are there are there uh, you know uh, private farm owners who need steel tanks recently we delivered twelve tanks to two private petrol stations petrol stations okay very good what about private yeah, farms private ah private farms yes uh, like private farms they also need their tanks the underground petrol tanks especially you know. People and that's also they are the contractor of petrol station actually, but sometimes they supply the equipment like uh, tank equipment. But that time they get the order of tank also. But that tank I'm talking about private store. farm, F A R M farm. Yes. Yeah, yeah. oh, private farm means agriculture farm or agriculture uh, company. Farm. Don't don't they need fuel storage uh, tanks? Ah, okay. or chemical storage no, tanks? I, I didn't. Be yeah, I, uh, I didn't deal with anyone, uh, any farm. You, that, this is basically something you have never explored yet. Yeah. You know, okay. In dairy farms, they need fuel. There's no doubt about it. Okay. Yeah, recently, oh, okay, okay, uh, something dropped in my mind. Recently, Total of Lubricant, Total, T-O-T-L, yeah. Total Lubricant has taken two tanks, which is just only three weeks ago. Uh, but they have taken it from us and they supplied to Balabna dairy farm. So see? That's what I'm telling you. But the, but is the, I didn't that directly send them. I, I didn't directly send to Balata. So you to really, total, to, you really you, what you really need to do, Shakyaf, is, mashallah, your business is really good. You're having a lot of work. But the thing is, if you really want to grow your business, stop focusing on your product and start focusing on who needs this. And then okay. it's going to really build up for you, inshallah. Okay. Okay. So uh, bread and butter customers would be tank repair. Do you do tank repair? Uh, actually, honestly speaking, Shabib, mm. tank repairing, if that customer takes the tank from us and it is under warranty period, then we repair. But okay. if they took from outside and we don't touch it because we scared of material defect and anything. What yeah. So what happens is, let's, let's look at it this way. So bread and butter for you is tank repair, but in a way, it is about replacing tanks that require repair. Yeah. So what you need to do is, so this is again a marketing technique or basically a business development technique. Okay. Now, uh, listen to what Shakif actually did. Okay. What he did is, I don't want to know about tank repair because I only repair the tanks I have installed under warranty period. That's what he's telling. But what he's closing himself to right now 
is actually a bigger market. He should ask people for reference for tank repair. Why? Because those tanks might well be unsalvageable and might have to be replaced. And that is a great referral source for you. So you should not stop asking people for referrals for tank repair. You should ask them because those tanks will require replacement. Most probably the tanks are requiring repair because it is reaching, uh, there is an integrity problem. Okay, and most probably people are asking around because the ones who installed it are not able to repair. And it is a critical piece of equipment which is required for that facility to operate properly, right? And all these situations, mm -hmm. what happens is there's a decision that could happen. Let's replace the tank. When they're replacing the tank, you need to be there. Okay. All right. So you're asking for referrals for tank repair, not because you want to repair the tanks, but you're asking for repair because there is a good chance it might actually turn out to be business for you in terms okay. of replacement. I hope this makes sense. Yeah, sure. Okay. And can I ask about one more, uh, can I tell about one more favorite restaurant? Because yeah, sure, maybe sure. I, yeah, sure, sure. And then we will move uh, on. Because there are, uh, there are companies, okay, who are the fuel distribution network provider, fuel distribution network provider, like, for example, that from tank to the generator, okay, what, so the diesel has to pass through the distribution, you know, yeah. piping and some, so those equipment supplier, okay, sometimes they take the whole turnkey from the generator company, but they outsource the tank to us. Okay, rest of the thing they take care, but they hire me for tank supply. Okay, so, so this basically, fuel distribution order, basically, because what happens is every time they get an order, you get an order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But ultimately, they are supplying to the generator company, but not, uh, you know, I, I am not dealing with the generator directly through them. So what them. happens is this is your bread and butter because they get a business, you get a business. Now, a lot of yeah. people struggle to identify what is a good referral. What is, I mean, what is a dream referral? What is a favorite referral in bread and butter? Depends highly on the industry they are in, what kind of customers they are catering to and what products they're doing. So I hope right now within this last 10, 15 minutes, you kind of understood how to leverage BNI, right? Every week, right. your script should not be the same. It should be different, focusing on which clientele you're trying to get reference about. And okay. the fact that you never asked for these reference yet shows the reason why you're not able to get the reference. You need to focus. Okay, on uh, one more question, Shabib. Yeah. One more question, if you, are, if you give me a chance. For I need to give a chance to Uma first, and then I'll come back to you. Okay, go ahead. Okay, I'll give a chance to Uma first, and then I'll come back to you. Right, because uh, if we if we keep giving you a chance, then you know a lot of people are waiting. So we'll I'll finish Uma and then I'll come back to you. We have time, don't worry. We still have 40, 40 more minutes in the session. Okay, right. So Uma, uh, but Shakif, I hope your primary question is answered now. You you have clarity on your primary question, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Perfect, fantastic. Hey, uh, uh, Ayman or Uma, you want to add something onto what you learned from this answer uh, from the answer for this question? Uh, yes, uh, Mr. Shabib, I think uh, today uh, this, uh, what we call it, informative uh, dialogue between you and Mr. Shakif, I think uh, his belief in BNI uh, increased more now because it is the know-how of BNI. It is about the know-how of BNI. I think uh, Shakif uh, from next meeting, uh, he will get a lot of referrals because now I was thinking, Mr. Shabib, who can uh, have one to one with Mr. Uh, okay. Shakif from uh, Shakif from other members, okay, who can help him a lot. Like I'm thinking, an engineer Wael. Uh, yeah, engineer he's already met engineer Wael. Uh, uh, he already met. Yeah. yeah okay. So you have I met think engineer Wael, right? Cut the Canadian. Yes. Sir. Yes. You have, yeah. So the yeah. thing here is, uh, but you know, uh, uh, increasing the relationship is always welcome. But also focus on, uh, you know, the fo the focus area over here is. If you if you if you ask me, what is the takeaway over here? Uh, never assume that you know everything about marketing. You know, marketing and sales is a big area. Even after seventeen years uh, of selling, I I have been involved in selling of different kinds of products and services. And some of the things that I'm sharing, I'm still learning new, new things as I go ahead. But there is a specific structure to it. The moment you understand the structure and where you are having gaps, 
you start closing those gaps, your sales starts coming to you. So it's very important that we understand how to do this. Okay, Uma, what's your takeaway from this answer, from the answer to this question? And then we'll come to your question. Yeah, uh, see oil and gas, if we always mention the oil and gas, it's a big C. Uh, we cannot identify which people they required oil in uh, the tanks and all. But once we specify the clients, uh, what type of clients they required uh, the steel tanks or uh, the f water tanks, even the MEP people, they require the water tanks. Uh, the chemical uh, pr processing people, they might require the other kind of tanks. So once we mention the client who they require this kind of tanks, it will be helpful for us. Even I got the new information, we should not mention always the oil and gas, oil and gas, oil and gas, because it, it will not work out for us. It's like it's like uh, talk saying SME. <laughs> You know, uh, it's like uh, using that acronyms, what we say as uh, SME, anybody, somebody, oil and gas is the same. Okay, when you say oil and gas, you lose uh, track because you don't know exactly what is now. Okay, oil and gas is such a big industry. Okay, so uh, we really have to understand how this works. Okay. Mm. Now, coming to your question, I believe your question was about cross chapter reference. Yes. Okay. So, Uma, uh, there are certain industries in BNI where we do not encourage cross chapter referrals to be very honest. And I'll tell you why. Okay. Because what cross chapter referrals mean is so, if you ask me if you can generate cross chapter, chapter referrals, I have no question. You can. Okay. If I will, would I encourage cross chapter referrals in your case? Uh, there are certain industries in which all the uh, chapters or categories are taken and you belong to a category like that. You're in, you're, you're in the uniforms category, right? And the thing is, it's a highly competitive category and the fact that, um, uh, you know, uh, in BNI, we have this policy where we say that within your chapter, you have no competition, but outside your chapter, we will be having other people in the other chapters and uh, we do not have a problem with you stepping into those chapters, but we would like to protect those members who are there in those chapters as much as possible. But you can still generate cross chapter reference. There's no question about it. But how do you do that? Now, again, I will only reach the cross chapter reference once I have tapped into the entire prospect of my chapter. So why am I saying this? Okay, let, let me be very clear. Okay, when you become a BNI member, okay, um, you know that there is a huge component of time management involved. Yes. Because how many hours are you spending with your chapter every week? Now you are somebody who has been in ST also. So let me ask you very clearly, how many hours do you spend in a week with your chapter? So compulsorily you spend two hours, two and a half hours with your, in your chapter meeting. Yes. 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 Uh, when I was know, ST, it was, yeah, I'm sorry yeah. to interrupt. Go on, go on, uh, please. When, yeah. when I was ST, it was very helpful for me. I can uh, I can speak with all the uh, BNI members. It was necessary, like it was, uh, I need to speak with them. So once I leave that, uh, once uh, that uh, position has changed now, like uh, we are forcing ourselves to talk with the people. So that, this, is where, this is where you need to bring, uh, you know, this is a big realization for you. Look at how you're talking yourself. When I was ST, BNI forced me to do spend time with people. I used to spend time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's really. So my question is, do you really want to sp uh, grow your business? You know, with regards to how you're getting your reference from your chapter. Spend the time just like how you're spending ST. Before when you were the ST, you're also doing the role of the ST to ensure your chapter is growing. But when you left the role of the ST, nobody's stopping you from spending the same time. And the good thing here is now you don't have the role of the ST to fulfill. You have the role of a good member who has to grow his her business as well as others business. Got it. So this is something that we, you know, this is a big learning, which I really want anybody who has served in the LT role to take away. Right. I mean, I think this is something that most people don't understand as an LT. When you come into the LT role, you are ready to spend this time because BNI is asking you to, you, you love the visibility and everything. But this is where I would actually even point at Ayman. You know, Ayman, uh, after he left the VP's role also, he kept on spending the same amount of time. The thing is, he organized that time into focusing on the activities that will help him grow his business. And right now, he's one person, I believe, was also spending that time to create cross-country uh, relationships. 
and uh, he, he asked me like I, I believe I am and I told you this also after becoming a VP Mr. Shabhi what should I do now and I said you know whatever time you allotted as a VP keep that time aside and start using it for your business because when you were the VP or the ST or any LT role you did make time for things right you did have the time for the role as well as for your business and everything now suddenly what happened is when you got out of the role there, you know, I call this as a coaching, you know, it's a coaching. When you are in the role, there is a constant coaching that comes from outside, from the BNI regional office, from your support director, there's constant coaching that keeps coming and we keep you on track, right? And uh, I am someone who realized this a bit earlier and what I have done is, you know, I have a personal coach who is not in BNI, who is from outside, he's based in India and, uh, you know, I pay him around $300 per three hours of, not $300, I think I pay him more than that, right? I pay, wait, wait a second, how much do I pay him per hour? I mean, for three hours of coaching is, I pay him $700 for three hours of coaching in a month. To keep me on track, to ensure that my time management is on track, my goals are on track and everything is on track. So this is where you really have to understand. I'm not telling that you have to get a coach or anything. You can do it without a coach also. I'm just doing it because I would like to increase my performance exponentially. But if you really look at the environment where you're operating as an LT member, you're constantly being coached. You're constantly asked for accountability. You're constantly being set to stay to the track, the path of delivering your role. As well as we are also telling when you do your role, ensure that you do one-to-ones where you get reference from your fellow members because you got to enjoy the visibility. What many members do not realize is, I would say almost every member don't realize is that in BNI, to enjoy these benefits, you don't need a title. You can just be a proper member and do the same thing. Okay. What are you realizing right now? Ivan, you want to add on something to this uh, before, uh, you know, uh, yes, uh, Uma is going uh, through different levels of realization, but I would like <laughs> to no. get uh, Ivan's uh, input before we ask Uma, what, what did you just realize? Yes. Uh, I was uh, the first uh, VB for BNI Royals and uh, it was a coincidence. Uh, just one week before the launching, uh, I remember, uh, the launch ambassador and the president uh, they told me to stay up to the end of the meeting and they told me that uh, we are going uh, to choose you as the uh, pres uh, vice president and don't worry it is nothing to do okay uh, and everything on the uh, shoulder of the president okay that's what they told me exactly mr shafiq Okay. I was not there in and, that meeting, I believe. <laughs> no, 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 he was not there, okay? And of course, uh, when I start the vice president role, okay, it was everything on the shoulder of the VP. Right or no, Mr. Shabib? Yeah, VP has their, his share of uh, duties, but uh, yeah. it's, it's more, uh, uh, what do you call, more uh, administrative oriented for the VP than the rest of the LT members. Yeah. Yes. And, and that uh coincidence believe me uh uma uh changed my life 180 degrees uh, i was in touch always with uh, mr mohammed shabib uh because of the administrative uh part and uh, my belief on my uh, my belief and my uh trust increase and Mr. Shabib and B and I, and I can honestly, okay, if we are existing as a Falcon travel, okay, this is only because of the time and because of the attention Mr. Shabib give to us, not only to me, okay, he give it to everybody, but it, it is your call. Okay, it depends on you. Uh, the travel industry hit badly. It was uh, the, the highest uh, sector damage uh, during the pandemic. Uh, of course, I was very close with Mr. Mohammed Shabib, and there is a webinar 
فور مستر شاه اجي شاه ذا نشنال دايركتور اباوت هاو تو ستاند سترونج ان ذا ستورم اي اسك هيم ون كويشن اوما ان ذات ويبينار اوكي اي ام ان ترافل اندستري 100% لوك داون اي دونت هاف اني ثينج تو دو بليز ادفايس مي مستر شاه هي تول مي ايمن go and help others go and help others during that three four months he knows mr shabib how is my situation okay he supported me very well a uh, big travel agency in qatar closed uma and this what we are in falcon travel okay the, that coincidence role the vp helped me a lot to overcome this pandemic thank you very much back to you mr shabib so this is this, if, if if anybody ask me about cross chapter reference what i'll tell us focus on your chapter first because another thing that you kind of mentioned uma is also that you know you are not spending as much time as you did when you were the st to reach out to the members so Uh, you know i spoke about this when i came to your chapter meeting last week also uh, the grass looks greener on the other side right that's what we say the grass looks greener on the other side because we are uh, and i sp- i give you the example of staying in a resort on a river side and then you are looking on the other side of the river and you are hey that resort is looking better and the person who's in that resort is looking at your resort and thinking the same thing how oh, that resort is better right so this is this is a this is a challenge that most of us have we we think that we have tapped into the entire uh, potential of what is there in with us and we keep looking at everything but no we have not tapped into everything if if you you know i will tell you something and this is a very strong belief i have uh, about uh, opportunity and about fate to be very honest no person is capable of tapping into the complete potential of what is given to him by fate by fate some people say it is god giving you opportunity it could be anything but whatever is around you you have not tapped why am i saying this because i'm saying this because scientifically it is proven that you have not even tapped the entire pro- uh, capability of your brain so if you are not capable of tapping into entire capability of brain then we have we have we have not yet seen what is there around us there's a lot of things you know i go back to this thing that i heard a few uh, months back i believe just before ramlan i heard this uh, i heard this uh, you know speech and i keep saying this because it's it's always there right now in my head it's it's like the thing that always stand for you know jim carrey right he's a comedian he's uh, the guy who's acted in the truman show mask Uh, and all those things he he's a great comedian but he's also a great philosopher he's a great human being okay i've i've read fantastic things about him and i heard i got this chance to hear a speech it's available in the best motivational speeches audio book that is available for download in audible uh, i heard this sentence that he said you know this this phrase that he said your eyes i are not just viewers they are also projectors and they project on what you see a filter that is made up of what you don't know or you fear oh, do you understand what i said so right now you're looking at something can, okay. can you can you please come again once i'm going to tell this once again okay listen to yeah, uh, yeah. this or i'll write this down okay so that you will understand so what it says what he says is your eyes are not just viewers like they don't just see things okay not this right they don't just view things <clears throat> they also project so what they do is they project they also put out okay not just absorb they put out what do they project they project a filter on what you are seeing okay they project a filter okay so you see something and it projects something in between what you see and your eye and what you what you perceive okay this filter is made up of what you don't 
नो और वॉट यू फियर सो वॉट हैपन्स इज वेन यू आर सींग समथिंग your eyes is not sh- really showing the reality okay your eyes puts a filter in between and this filter is made up of what you don't know because what you don't know is not letting things to come to you or what you fear because you are afraid you are not letting that to come to you very deep saying right now just look at what your your uh, what the possibilities around you like we are not seeing it because we don't know yet just like how you know uh, when i told shakif shakif actually uh, your um, you know you should not tell people that you don't want referrals to tank repairs because that could be actually your biggest bread bread and butter because all those tanks might require replacement so when i removed that filter from him what happened before it was made up of a fear ah if it comes to me it will waste my time i don't do that repairs and all those things right but if you make it clear that you hear about a tank requiring repair give them my number also because when they need a replacement they'll call me you got it so suddenly the filter is removed now what happened more opportunities came your way i'm going to give you another example okay this is something that i asked uh, a nutritionist when she was there with our, as a member i asked her okay so when you're selling nutritional food right nutritional food weight loss food okay or weight management food if you have a customer who is very fat and you have a customer who's fit okay mm. who is a better referral for you the customer who is very fit actually why uh because he will not lose his shape and he will maintain his uh... exactly he's already practicing eating nutritional food and it's easier to sell him nutritional food than selling it to a fat person or a person who's yes. having challenges with this uh what do you Those, call uh, with this weight management issues fat they have weight management i'm not i'm not uh, you know uh, trying to uh, kind of show anybody bad by saying they fat i'm also having weight management challenges so a person who is managing their weight well is a better customer for a nutritional company than a person who's having challenges with weight or fitness right yeah, they will be very conscious about their weight so obviously exactly. they will buy so usually what happens is when we hear nutritional food nutritional food most of us are thinking that oh now you need people who are having challenges with their health or oh, let me try to uh, convince my cousin who is having challenges with his weight to come to you or let me get on a diet first and then i'll get to you what is happening you're waiting for the person to become into a behavior that is coinciding with your requirement as a, to qualify him as a customer who will start mm-hmm. buying from you whereas over here yes. you just need to say i'm looking for all those fit people you know who spends a lot of time on how good they look and i can make them look better suddenly what happens the number of referrals go up so this is very important to understand how our customers think how what is the decision matrix they use when they are trying to get customers okay mm-hmm. so it is uh, uh, there are a lot of perspectives that we just need to understand which will help us to qualify customers so cross chapter referrals whatever you're doing so if you ask me how can i build cross chapter referrals um, the person to guide you well is iman but if i tell you how he does that it's very simple whatever you're doing to maximize referrals within your chapter once you feel that okay i have tapped the maximum potential at that time you can go into the other chapters but what iman also did is at the time when the pandemic was at its peak and everything was on a lockdown like the world didn't know how to react and it was finding out what are the ways we can overcome this to start traveling and all those things he came to me with a check for two people to join in the other two chapters telling shabib i want seats in the other two chapters and i asked him why do you, why are you paying me now, you know for two new chapters when you don't have any business uh, you don't have any uh, breed traveling right now um you know your uh, other people around the world in travels are ending their membership uh, you are coming here telling give me two more memberships and i, I asked him why are you doing this and he told me should we uh, so what bj said and he also to, um, told me something you know i remember what you said that when the market is down build your relationships because when you build your relationships when the market is going up everyone will remember you how they helped you so that is what bj told you you know everyone will remember how you helped them and then they are going to help you back you know market is never going to stay down every time when there's a down there's going to be an up also 
for most people, what happens is their business practices, the way they manage their business is not in the right way. So they have cash flow struggles. They don't have reserves. They have a lot of challenges because of decisions they took before the pandemic. The pandemic is not the reason for their business coming down. The pandemic accelerates what was inevitable. What they would have seen two years from now, they saw it now. If anything, I am I'm really, uh, you know, I would say that it's a good thing that they were able to see these challenges before two years because they now have more time in their life to overcome the problems which they would not have seen if the pandemic was not there with regards to how they manage their business. But now if they see that, what would have taken them two more years of mistakes and frustrations and a lot of things to find out, they see it now. They're taking corrective actions. So right now you see businesses that are still sustaining, that is going to, that is staying alive, that is going to be, they're actually going to thrive now because they understood how to overcome some of the biggest challenges in their lives. Um, Uma, I don't know whether you were working at the time of the, uh, the recession in 2008. Were you working at that time or you were studying? No, I was working. You were working, but not a business owner, right? No. Shakif, were you working at that time? Or were you managing your business in 2008? No, 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 I was a student. You were a student. So one of the things that made us resilient was, you know, at that time, in 2008, I actually went through hell and back. By 2010, my business was in 5 million reals of uh, debt. But to get back from there, I spent time learning and working on the right philosophies and learning a lot of things. You know, most of the things I'm sharing with you are realizations that I had at that time. And one of the biggest realizations for me is something that I have shared with you Uma, earlier. You need to yes. understand how to read your balance sheet and profit and loss. Because once you know how to read that, you will know how, where you need to take the corrective actions exactly like a doctor does with the patient. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's like this, you know, uh, if you take the ECG of the heart, okay, which is a graph, right? All of us have yes. seen that, right? ECG of the heart is a graph. Okay. You take this ECG of your heart and give it to your doctor. The doctor will look at it and say, oh, your heart is healthy or your heart has a problem and we need to do something uh, to make it better, right? You give it to an engineer, you know what he'll say? Adrenalis, he's a biomedical engineer. You say the machine is broken. What do you think, right? You look at the pattern of the heart and you say the machine is broken. There's no machine that can give you this thing, right? There's a human machine. There's a there's an organic machine that can create that. And the one who's trained to look at that in that way understands what decisions should take to treat that machine. For somebody else, it's a wrong output. So until unless you understand how to read your financials and take the right decisions. Anything in your business is an output that you have not understood yet. Okay. Even if you're making profit, you have still not understood how much you're making because you still do not understand how to read a balance sheet and profit. But the moment you understand that your decision call increases, the kind of uh, things that you can do to grow your business also becomes exponential. And Uma, congrats on, uh, I think you, got, you kind of uh, stepped up into a higher role. I saw yes. something on LinkedIn. So fantastic yeah. job, fantastic work. Right, so Ivan, you want to say something and then uh, we can kind of go into the end of this to take Shakif's last question. He had a question that he wanted answered. Anything that you yes. want to add on to what I shared yeah. with Uma and Shakif, well, anything that you want to share? Yes. I'll come to Shakif after Ivan, yeah. Yeah, related to what you have said uh, just now, uh, Mr. Shabir, uh, about uh, BJ Shah and the advice. Uh, yes, Uma, uh, yes, Shakif, Yes, being I members, okay, it make a big difference with me, okay, because uh, as our uh, Dr. Ivan Meisner, the founder of being I, the father of networking, said in his uh, last book, uh, give without expectation and give more than expected, okay, I change give with help help without ex expectation and help more than expected and whatever i discussed with mr mohammed uh, shabib okay uh, during the crisis of the crisis in our industry it make a difference help is the secret thank you mr shabib welcome shakif so what did you learn from my answer to uh uma and uh, what's your question you had a question add-on question yes Yes, uh, now, uh, you know, as you said that, uh, you know, you have removed the filter, okay? 
that is one point I have learned, the bad, the vital point I have learned today. And also, other than that, you know, the way how you asked me that, uh, who are my customer, and the way how I say it, and the way how we reply, okay? Of course, it will help me. And one more question that uh, yeah. day after tomorrow, which is Monday, is my feature presentation, okay? So uh, what I did, but I don't know whether you have seen my slides or not, but no. I have put all the picture of my product, okay, what we are manufacturing, and I have written the industry name only. I didn't specify Jubilee Bros, like this, like this. I didn't specify. So that's what so you do you think, do. Uh, I'm sorry? That's what you need to do now. You know, you, uh, instead of putting a lot of pictures of the tanks, start focusing on who is buying these tanks. Yeah, uh, but do you want, uh, is it wise to specify the customer name? especially we only get like this or I can tell the yeah, industry. Why not? Because the good thing is when you specify the customer name, uh, people start thinking about who is a, uh, who is similar to this. So one of the things when you're coming to a feature presentation, what we usually tell is uh, you should have, uh, you know, the way I, I usually tell people as a base presentation is uh, your feature presentation should be having uh, around 10 slides. All right. Yeah, I have 11 slides there. Yeah. Last slide, any question. Okay. Yeah, 10 slides is the best, where the first slide is uh, your company introduction, uh, your introduction, okay, about you, personal introduction. Okay. okay, personal and company introduction. Because you don't need to tell everything about the company over here. You have 10 minutes, and within that 10 minutes, what yeah. you're trying to do is get reference, not teach people about how great a company you are. Your focus is getting yeah. reference. To get the... Yeah, uh, yeah. Reference. The second uh, slide will be, uh, what is who is your dream customer? Okay. Got it. And the yeah. third slide will be, what did this? What did they buy from you? Okay. Okay. Just like how I asked you earlier. All right. Okay. And then the fourth slide is basically uh, your asks. Okay. So put three logos and names of companies you want to meet. Okay. okay. So uh, you you have five now because you uh, over here, you saw that you have, you had put uh, these five names, right? You can put okay. that over here, okay. And then what you do is uh, in uh, slide number five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five to 10, Repeat this pattern of three with favorite customers and bread and butter customer. So mention why favorite customers. So you have mentioned over here your favorite customers is kind of private farms, lubricants, people who, who when they get a customer, uh, I can also be I get apply a tank to them. Yeah. And then bread and butter, basically replacing tanks that require repair and your other bread and butter is fuel distribution companies. Just describe about these companies, put the names of your asks on the screen and then just wait and receive. That's all I have to tell you. You, you, know, you will receive because what you're doing over here is a lot of people, you know, uh, the reason why most people who start up their business are not succeeding. Okay, I'm going to give you this final point before we close. Uh, you know, people are not bad. You know, they are very good in what they do. Okay, they are very good in what they do. So if you look at Ayman, he is very good in travels. There's no doubt about it. 27 years of travel industry experience, right, Mr. Ayman, by now? Right, uh, it's uh, thirty-one. Mr. Thirty-one years, yeah, fantastic. If you look at Uma, she is a, 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 a you're a PG in fashion designing, Uma. Am I right? Uh, no, no, no. I did uh, my fashion designing around two thousand thirteen. I went back to India and I completed that. So she did. She did a certification course in fashion designing after her graduation. And she's really good in fashion designing, right? You are very yes. good with tanks. So if you look at everybody, there is something that they are really good at. The thing that they do as a uh, to to as a skill, they are very good at that. Okay, the challenge is when they start a business to do this, they are really they are still good at what they do, but they are not very good at making it into a business because they have not learned how to become a good businessman or a woman. Okay, they are still a very good tradesperson, like they know they're very good in their profession, but they're not very good with business uh, business because they have not learned exactly how to develop their business by focusing on how to do money management, how to build sales and all those things. So this is the gap that we are trying to close. 
especially in bni also what we what we usually tell people is that uh, find people who are successful in their business because in bni we don't usually do the training of become making them a better businessman but it's inherent in bni you know these kind of sessions and all is focusing on that making you good marketing people making you good financial people and i would love to actually do some financial planning uh, uh, sessions and in the future maybe uh, you know there, there is a there is an excel sheet which i use to help people to understand their market classification what kind of revenue comes from what uh, and all those things so i'll just show you a sample of what i did with a recent client uh like the first day i had a 3 hour session with a client and what i did over the he's from the it industry and what i did over there i'm just going to show you one second so you'll understand you know the, there's a lot of wealth of information which we have which we are ready to give to you you just need to ask and that's what ask the ed is you know my experience as a, a as a uh business owner sales uh, person as a coach as a life coach as a business mentor that's what i'm trying to so you can see over here you know uh, they they have uh, he has shown what what kind of products he is doing over here and then the budgeting the uh, breakups the salary breakups and how we do this so you know in this what we do is we look at the yearly forecast expenses sales plan achievables brand wise sales targets recommendations and then we basically build the whole business model for the next one year and then we kind of coach them uh, coach the person to stay on track now this is something that i do other than bni but i am happy to do a session for all members to understand how to do this you know how to actually start focusing on this and if somebody is willing to become a you know example for uh, this uh, session let me know i'm i'm more than a, happy to do this so uh, with this i am expecting that uh, we had a good session so if if all of you would like to give a feedback of how this entire session was for you starting from minute 1 till now what has happened for you like what are the what are the main takeaways for you we will close the session in the next 7 minutes i mean we'll start with you uh, first of all uh, thank you very much uh, really it is informative and there is a lot of takeaways uh i think the most of beauty of this uh ask uh, executive director session is not individual mr shabib okay it is mix between different industry and between different uh, uh bni uh, members in qatar from different chapters i mean yes. uh th- i think that is uh, yani uh, the the best for me that uh, from uh, listening to uh, mr shakif and listening to uma uh, i learn a lot of them uh, by uh, you are how you are helping them uh, to solve their problem uh, thank you very much really you're welcome thank you so much shakif what's uh, what are your takeaways and uh, what would you tell your fellow members uh, with regards to whether they should come for the session or not what do you think yes uh, i have to say that you know if uh, you know as, as to the problem i will, i have been facing uh, that uh, getting low referrals okay so now i know that uh, i have to be a little bit more specific you know more specific about my ask okay so this is what i have my, my main uh, outcome is this today that how i can be more and more specific in terms of asking my ask okay so that i can tell from today's session and if you give me 30 more seconds can you yeah, yeah. can i ask take, one more take, take. okay yeah, you want to ask one last okay. question but if i can answer it within the time limit i'll do that is yes. yeah yeah okay uh, as uh, since i mentioned some five companies today okay and you have mentioned but these are the generator companies okay but uh, you know if i want to be more elaborate if i want to you know make my client circle for bigger like uh, there are companies who are not generator company who are not oil and gas in the like total okay but somehow they are related to that they also did by service okay in that case how to, because i don't know the name those company name i i only know one or two of them like uh, qatar gas group okay i brought one visitor from this company 3 weeks ago okay so they are one of, but i know only few of you okay. tools like linkedin you know you use tools like linkedin linkedin okay you know yeah, LinkedIn, uh, one yeah, of the yeah. things that i used to do is if i want to find out something about a company or a project Uh, i used used to actually go to linkedin and uh, understand uh, who is a person because if you look at it 95% of the decision makers who are based in qatar 
who are working in the oil and gas industry or who are working in some technical industry, they have a LinkedIn profile. Because LinkedIn is now uh, very important for people to maintain a profile, not just for business development, but also for employment prospects. Okay, now uh, all of us are over here decision makers and business owners who who are not looking for a job. But there's a lot of people who depend on LinkedIn for career pro career prospects and go up in their career. So if you're looking for a decision maker who is in your industry or who you do not know a company of, you know, it's very simple. For example, um, you know, uh, recently I came to know about a company called Jones Engineering. And how I came to know about it is because the business development manager of this company uh, was working with Saipem when they were doing the oil and gas projects in uh, in uh, North Gas, yeah, I mean, in, in, in Rostafan. And now what has happened is Jones Engineering has got a good project in Northfield expansion. And they are advertising for a lot of people to be hired in their profiles on LinkedIn. So uh, spending some time on LinkedIn to actually research which is a company that could come to you actually creates a lot of impact. Are there other tools? There are a lot of other tools also. Yes, Uma, you want to say something add on to that? Yeah, I just want to share my experiences. It was happened last week. Uh, yeah. uh, I tried uh, contacting one person in one company. I tried a contact person to BNI. I just spoke to him and uh, he was uh, he was not a decision maker, but he can help me with the pricing and other stuff and all. So with him, I was keep on continuing. And he told that I forwarded this one to site. Uh, the site people has to take the decision. So I just stopped there. I couldn't able to move forward to site because I don't know whom I have to contact. So I just went to the LinkedIn and I got the contact person number, uh, in the, not in the site actually, he is in the main office only. But uh, through his help, I got the site person contact number. Because when I was asking the purchaser, he is not uh, willing to reveal the names, but he was helpful for me, but he is not willing to reveal the names. But when I asked this guy, he gave me the correct contact person and that deal is going to, uh, like we almost uh, finalizing the deal. It was around uh, per month, 450,000 Qatari real. Fantastic. Good, you know, good luck to you, Uma. So this is what it is. So you know, I'm just going to mute you back up, because there's a background. So this is exactly what it is. You know, it's about being a bit more deeper in the way we research our clients and our market and understanding exactly who are the decision makers. And this is something I, all, I teach in the opportunity uh, exercise also. When you're trying to create mind share, this is how you create mind share. And well done, Uma. Really appreciate that uh, feedback. Uma, your feedback, so and then we will end the meeting. Uh, Mr. Uh, Shabib, uh, yeah. sorry, uh, 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 this uh, coffee, virtual coffee with you, yeah. uh, can we come again or if we lose our... Uh... You can. I don't have a problem with you coming again, but try to book it at least two or three sessions later. Okay. Not not the immediate session after this, but if you want to come for all the sessions, if you want to come for all the sessions as an observer, I don't have a problem. Just let me know and then I can give you. So look at the calendar dates and you got to message me. I will not message you. If you really want to come, you got to message me saying that please send me the link and then I'll send it to you. Okay. So Uma, just uh, your feedback and then we'll end the meeting. Yeah, we need to be specific what we need that I learned today uh, as when we are talking about the Shakti for oil and gas. Yeah. Uh, oil and gas, it's a C. So, and defining our products is more important than defining our clients. No, defining clients is more important than products. Uh, sorry, defining our products is not more important than defining our yeah, clients. So defining yeah. clients better <laughs> yes. to get better referrals. Products, yes, people need to know, but you don't need to keep on talking about your products too much. That's a great takeaway. So fantastic and, uh, job. It's exactly 10 o'clock. Thank you so much for all of you for coming. Uh, we had a few dropouts today, but next week, let's ensure that we can get the maximum people. I'm just going to take a screenshot. Uh, first, I'll stop the recording, then we'll take a screenshot and then we'll move on. So the recording is for all those who missed this and who wants to hear this. You know, we want to make information available to you. And I have permission from all the three of you to share this recording in YouTube, right? Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. See you.